Thank you, Mr. Chairperson. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as a former human rights uh, officer in uh, Iraq, I would like to share with you very briefly uh, some uh, factual elements of the situation. In fact, uh, the government of Iraq on the 1st of September tried to uh, make another lie to say that uh, they were not aware of what happened in uh, Camp Ashraf. This is, I could confirm to you, this is a pure lie. It's impossible for what happened in Ashraf to happen without uh, the knowledge of the uh, government of Iraq, and particularly the Prime Minister's office. And let me very briefly take you a little bit back to the 8th of April 2011. The same massacre took place in Ashraf, and the same lie was made to me in person. On the 8th of, of uh, April 2011, I went to the uh, house of the uh, National Security Advisor, Falah Fayyad, and I asked him to give the instructions to immediately stop the attack against Ashraf. And he told me, uh, stop spreading uh, uh, stories, allegations, there is nothing happening in Ashraf. So I asked him, can I go to Ashraf right now to verify the situation on the ground? He told me, no, you can't. A few days later, I managed to reach Ashraf, and I counted the bodies. In total, there were 36 bodies. You see, this is the pattern of conduct of the Prime Minister's office. This is the kind of behavior, but let me underline that this is also a documented policy of the government of Iraq. Camp Ashraf is victim of this policy, and whatever happens, small and big, a massacre or just deprivation, all this is governmental policy, it is documented, the United Nations is aware of it, but somehow they close their eyes. And let me tell you that the MOU signed between the United Nations and the government of Iraq has turned from a, a, a tool for protection to a tool for persecution, because the early intentions of the MOU was to protect, but the Prime Minister and Maliki has turned it as an instrument for persecution and uh, uh, attacking Ashraf and uh, later on liberty the way you are aware of it. So these crimes are witnessed by the diplomatic community in Baghdad. And let me tell you that I used to brief the diplomatic community in Baghdad on a weekly basis. And I tell them what I notice when I observe on the ground, and yet they report to their capitals differently. This is either complacence or probably they are just uh, following the instructions of their administration by reporting what their administration wants to hear. They are not reporting the facts. So for diplomats to allege that uh, there might be some confusion about what happened on the 1st of September in Camp Ashraf, this is not reflecting the reality. They know it, they know who did it, and yet they are not trying to uh, inform their administrations, or they are rather informing their administration differently. So I hear from this August uh, building, from this uh, uh, institution, I appeal to my former colleagues in Baghdad, whether in the UN or in the diplomatic community, to please do your job, do it decently, do it with dignity, inform and inform objectively. Thank you.